Well, now that we've seen how to create a couple of slides and place some information on them, let's go ahead and talk about uh, working with the background of your slide. And the background of your slide will determine to a great deal how the content is positioned on the slide. So it's always good early on in a presentation to pick some sort of design to work with. So I'm going to come here to my first slide just by clicking on it, and then I'm going to come to the Design tab here at the top. And we want to look at this area right here on the Design tab. And these are going to be the different themes that you can apply to this slideshow. And if you want to see what a theme is going to look like, all you have to do is click on the name of the theme. And you'll see that you get a preview. Actually, if you just hover over it, you'll get a preview, but then it'll go away. If you click on it, you'll be able to see the way that presentation is going to look with that particular theme. And I can click over here and you'll see the way that design is going to look. Now, once you've picked a theme here, you can also come over here to Color, Font, and Effects and customize the way this theme looks. For example, I'm going to come here to Colors and click the drop down and you're going to see as I hover over the different color schemes here, my presentation is changing. So just because you don't like the colors that you see here doesn't mean that you can't use that particular theme. You can come in here and just find whichever one works the best for you. And you can see I can scroll down here and if you click on one it will apply it not only to that slide but every other slide that's been formatted with that particular theme. For example, I can click right here and you can see the way that theme is going to look on both of those presentations. I can also adjust my fonts that are used in the theme by simply clicking that drop down there and you'll see if as I hover over these different font groups, you're going to see that my fonts change over here. And this is one reason why you never want to manually change your font styles or your colors because if you manually change a font these options up here may not work for you on all of the items. For example, I'm going to go ahead and highlight learning objectives here and you can see the font that it's in. I'm going to go to home and I'm going to say change this from Franklin Gothic to Algerian, something really horrible. Now when I go back to design and click the drop down for fonts you're going to see that it affects this lower text here, but it doesn't affect the text up there. And again, that's because I've customized that font. I can come back into my design and highlight that again and come back over here to Home. And I could manually change the font here if I wanted to to anything I want. And again, it'll stay that. So if, uh, if that's what you're looking for, this is perfect. You can also adjust the font size right here. I'm going to go ahead and choose something other than Algerian. I'm going to go back to Franklin Gothic. And you'll see how I can very easily make my fonts larger or smaller. I can click the drop down arrow here for color. And you're going to see I get some colors here. And they match the color theme that I chose before. So that can be really useful for you. And I'm going to select that gold color for my headings. And I'm also going to come in here and I'm going to highlight this text. It's on an angle so it can be a little bit difficult to highlight sometimes. I'm going to kick that up a couple of notches. Well, not a couple, just one. And I'm going to change the font color to that as well. And I'm also going to go ahead and move this around a little bit. Now you can move your boxes simply by pointing at any of the control points. The side control points will allow you to stretch the box or compress the box. The corner control points will allow you to resize the box proportionally. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and drag up this way. You see it gets a little bit bigger proportionally. I can drag that back down just like that. What I'm going to actually do is just push the bottom up because I want this text here to be bigger. You're going to notice that when I made that bigger, when the space became bigger, the fonts also adjusted themselves. And I can go ahead and drag this a little bit over 
that way. And that's about the way I want that to look. And again, I can cut that was all on the design tab. Now, once you've picked a design, you're not stuck with it. You can always come in here to colors and choose another color. For instance, I'll go ahead and click that one there. But you're going to see that again, the font that I adjusted didn't automatically update. You'll see the color there, but it's very easy to come in here and simply come to your color wheel and you'll see the colors that are in your presentation. I'll go ahead and click that aqua color, which is what we want. And now they match. So you gotta kind of balance when you're um, dealing with themes and when you're customizing your font because the more you customize your design, especially your fonts, the less the theme will be able to automatically do for you. In a later video, we're going to go ahead and talk about slide masters and how slide masters can help you uh, speed up the formatting of your presentation.